Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of Modded Minecraft. Okay, so just a bit of admin first of all. I've decided to update all of the mods that I've got in this pack and Forge itself up to the latest versions because we are playing in Minecraft 1.16.1. So everything's a little bit experimental. There's some beta versions of stuff. So I just tried to keep everything up to date. Now everything is working apart from one mod. The sleeping bag mod wouldn't load for some reason. So I've had to get rid of that. So we're going to have to go back to using these old fashioned things. I'm going to have to carry a bed around, but if that's the worst that happened, I can live with that. If you didn't see the last episode, a few things went wrong. I, I died a lot, which wasn't fun, but never mind. These things happen. That's early game Minecraft for you. I spawned in a mushroom island. So I think what I'm going to do is pack up all this stuff and take everything back over there. So to do that, we're going to use some modded trickery. So even though I've only been in this world for a few hours, I've got a lot of stuff and I've got some machines on the surface as well. So I don't want to be going back and forth. What we're going to do, I'm going to see what options we have for taking all this stuff over there. So what we do have from mechanism is the person, oh, I can't spell, the personal chest. So this is a pretty cool thing. This, I think it's 54 slots. So it's the same size. Yeah, 54 slot chest is same size as an as a double chest. And you can't place this down anywhere, but you keep it in your inventory. And if you right click it, it opens up a double chest that you can just access and put things in. Now, I thought it was like an ender chest, so you could only have one of these. Probably because it's called a personal chest. I don't know. That's just where I went. And that's not the case. You can have as many of these as you want, as many as you can carry. And you can just put loads of stuff in it, carry it all around, and then dump in stuff when you get there. But I think what we're going to do, we're going to go with the cheaper option, uh, which is... Let me have a look. We're going to make some backpacks. Now, the smaller, smallest version of these, you can't carry that much. I think it's the same size as a single chest. And the medium one is the same size as a double chest, but the large one is absolutely ridiculous. I think it's the same size as a diamond chest from the iron chest mod. So what we're going to do, we're going to craft these up. So it's, it's pretty cheap, just string, leather, and wool. And I did go collect a little bit more leather. So let's just grab everything we need for that. We've got everything to make this. So let's do the small one first. And then upgrading these is really easy. So it's just the same recipe again, but instead of string in the middle, it's just the, the lower version of that backpack. So I didn't actually check the size of that, did I? All right, let's have a look. So that's, yeah, that's the same size of double chest in it. So I think the large one is really crazy. So let's have a look at this. Yeah, look at that. That's exactly what I want. So if I just shift click and drag all these into there, that should be good. So let me get all this packed up and we'll get back over to the Mushroom Island. Okay, so we've made it back over to the Mushroom Island and everything I own is in this backpack. This is great. Can you imagine doing this in vanilla? How long this would take to bring all this? All right, I know we've got chulka boxes, but this is this is early game. This is early game stuff. I can already do it. I love I love modded Minecraft. Right, what I've done is come up to what I think is the highest point on this island, because as we're using this wind generator as our main power source at the moment, the higher up this is in the well, the better. So if you can get it up to 250, that's brilliant, but we don't have that many cables yet, and we don't have any wireless power transmission. So just putting it on a big hill is more than good enough for now. So I'll just get started. I'm gonna put everything back down so I can get my old doubling setup going again. And then we'll get started on the plan for today. Right, so I've got that all set up again. So we've got the input chest here, just going down into the enrichment chamber, which turns that into the dust, and then that Pushes it straight across into the jar smelter, which cooks it into ingots, and then from there it'll just get output to this chest. So yeah, that's all up and running again. Excellent. Right, so the plan for today is to get a bit of infrastructure sorted, because what I want to do is get hold of my favourite modded tool, which is the atomic what's it called? Atomic disassembler. This thing is amazing. But it's a little bit resource intense compared to what I've got now. So we need to get some of this atomic alloy and a refined obsidian ingot. Everything else we've done already, so that's, we can do that. So it's the infused alloy, just as a reminder, that's the redstone in the metal edge can infuse it with an iron ingot. So we just need redstone iron for that, not a problem. Uh, the other thing is the same again, we just need some of those with some gold and some redstone. So we can do that. But 
these things are a bit more difficult. So the atomic alloy is the highest level of the infused alloys. So if we just drill down to these, we'll get the, the standard infused alloy, which we then need to put into a metallic infuser with crushed diamond or enriched diamond, whichever one is. And then that gives us the reinforced alloy. And then we can use that with the refined obsidian to then take it to the atomic alloy. Obviously we need the refined obsidian as well. And then we also need the refined obsidian dust to make the refined obsidian ingot. And this refined obsidian is again in the metallurgic infuser with diamond again. So it's a bit of a process and we definitely need to get some resources. Okay, so the other mod I added was this map mod, which is amazing. I love this thing. So I, you'll, have, you'll have noticed at the top left of my screen here, I've got the mini map. But I've added this one because these are really handy for navigating around the world. Okay, so what we need to do is get some gold. Now, I could go mining the Mushroom Island. That's not a problem. But as you can see here, we've got a Badlands biome. So this is a perfect place to get some gold. And also, I want to get my hands on some terracotta as well. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is make a trip over to this Badlands. And we'll grab some gold and some terracotta. But before I do that, I probably shouldn't take everything I own with me. So I'm going to put some chests down and get rid of all this stuff. Right, so I've got my backpack emptied now. I'm going to take it with me because obviously going mining, this could come in very handy. And then I've got everything in these chests here. So I've just got blocks in this one. And then I've put down two iron chests. So these are the same size as a double chest. But what you can, you can also upgrade these as well. There's the gold one, which is double the size of that, I think. And then the diamond one, I think, is the same size as this one. So this is from a mod called Iron Chest. Now, if you've played modded for more than five seconds, you will have seen these things. But the recipe for this is just a chest with eight iron ingots around it. And then the same again for the gold one. You just put the gold around the iron, around the iron chest. And these are very, very handy. And I just think they look really cool as well. So, right. We're all sorted now. So let's get over to the Badlands. Right, so I've made it over to the Badlands. And this is the first cave that I found. And instantly, I've got gold. There's gold everywhere. I love these things. Definitely a great tip. Even if you're in vanilla, if you're short on gold, get yourself over to a Badlands because there's just so much of it everywhere. Right, so I'm going to mine up as much of this as I can. But unfortunately, I've got to bring my bed. So I'm going to be as quick as I can and get out of here because I don't want to be fighting anything because I've only got a stone sword that's nearly dead. Yeah, I think that'll do for now. So, oh, baby skeleton. Do not want to fight a baby skeleton. Yeah, that's one of the things that mechanism adds. It adds baby skeletons and even worse, baby creepers. Creepers that can run fast. No, no thank you. Skeletons that can run fast are bad enough. Alright, let's get out of here. I got a bit of terracotta and I got 12 gold. Remember, I can double that to 24. So I think that should do us for now. So let's get back to the mushroom island. Right, so we've got back to our little setup here, and I've added the gold into here, so this is now processing, and I'll get 24 ingots out of this, which I'm thinking should be plenty. So, what do we need to do? Right, as you saw when I went through that recipe for the atomic disassembler, which I've changed now, I need to use the metalizer confuser with different materials inside. So, what you can do is just use the same one and make sure you only put the right amount in, but I never do that. I always get it wrong. So what I like to do is have four metal edge confusers because there's four different materials you can use, which are coal, redstone, diamond, and refined obsidian. So I think if I've got enough of everything, I'm going to try and craft those up now. Because it's not an expensive recipe. It's I think it's mainly just iron, furnaces, oh, and osmium, a bit of redstone. I think we should be able to do that. So let's have a look. Uh, osmium, uh, what was it? Redstone and fences. So if we just shift click that, I'll get two of those. I mean, this is the really lazy way of doing it. If, if, if you're okay with using your brain, you should be alright. But I'd just like to have a few of these anyway. We need to get some obsidian. Now, I don't have a diamond pick, but luckily, we don't need a diamond pick because steel has the same mining level as diamond which is absolutely brilliant. So if we just cook up some steel and we'll get ourselves three ingots, then we can make a 
a steel pickaxe and we can go find some obsidian. So, we should probably do that now. Right, so if we just get some... What do we need? I've got the iron and I've got coal. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the iron in here and then have infused that with the coal. But, to make this more efficient, we're just going to put it through the enrichment chamber first. And that gives us the enriched carbon. So, we'll get more for our money with that one. So, if we just put that in there. And what do we do? I'm really low on iron as well, though, so I don't want to do too much of this. Let's just let's just do the three, and then when this is finished, again these go back through, and that gives us the steel dust, and then we'll just cook that up in the smelter, and we'll get our iron. Uh, sorry, I will get our steel ingots. Okay, so this gold's nearly there as well. Now, how are we doing for power? Oh, it's keeping up. It's running all these things so far. That's all right. All right, everything appears to have finished. So let's put that one in there, and yeah, we've still got enough carbon to do that. So. While we're waiting, let's get some redstone in there. And do we have any diamonds? We don't actually have any diamonds yet. So we need to get some of those as well. And the mushrooms come to check out what we're doing. Not used to all this technology around the area. Okay, so the steel dust is done. So I can cook that now. And then we've got our rich redstone. So we'll put that into this one. And do we have any of the alloy? We do have some there, alloys. So we might not actually need to do that. Okay, so there's our steel ingots. Right, so all I need to do now is craft a steel pickaxe. And I think you use iron ingots instead of sticks. Let's see if I'm right. Steel, there we go. So what is it? Steel pickaxe. Yep, yeah, so it's three steel ingots and two iron ingots. So if we just put that in there. And with this, we can mine diamonds and obsidian, which is perfect. So I think, I'm, I think I've got some stone pickaxes somewhere. So yeah, I'll take all of these just to mine down. And... Should probably make another sword as well. So yeah, we'll do that. I'll get down to bedrock and do a little bit of mining and we'll come back and try and get this tool sorted. Right, so we'll come down to bedrock level, gone across a little bit, and I've found this lava lake. So that's job one. I need to get myself some obsidian. And just to prove that I'm not making it up, we'll mine it with this steel pickaxe. And there we go. First piece of obsidian. Brilliant. So I'll grab some of this, but I need to spend a bit more time down here as well because I need to get some diamonds because I need to use those in the Metal Edge Infuser. So let me get on with this and I'll come back if I find anything interesting. Right, so I didn't have much luck in that cave. I got a little bit of obsidian, uh, which I've put in my backpack now, but I couldn't find any diamonds. And there was a big ravine all covered in lava, so I explored all of that, but still no diamonds. So I've resorted to a little bit of branch mining. So this is the first branch I've dug and I was about to give up. But well, then I found some. So there we go. First diamonds. Excellent. So I think. What oh, I want to do together. Is that it? No, there's a few more. Just one. So we've got six diamonds from that, which should be enough to do what we need to do. So let's get back up there, get all this cooked up, and we'll try and get ourselves an atomic disassembler. Right, so we're back up top. And I think we just need to cook this up. So let's go off the iron first because we're going to get through loads of iron. Not cut. Is that lead? Yeah. Uh, just stick all of our rolls in there. Right. So the next thing we need to do is to get one of these atomic alloys. Or, oh, sorry, the... Which one was it? The second level up, which is the one we use diamond for reinforced alloy. So we've already got the infused alloys. So let's take a couple of those. And what we want to do is put diamond in there but if we do that it's not going to be very efficient so first up we need to put it in the enrichment chamber but because I've put all the ores in there can't do it can I so let's do that first let's take all those out and just put the diamond in there and if we just put all these ores back in so once that's finished it'll go back in so we can take our enriched diamond now and put that into there that gives us 80 mil buckets, so if we put these in, let's put the one in for now because I think we're going to need the one. And then we've got the reinforced alloy. So with that, we need to make the atomic alloy. So again, we're going to put that in a metal edge confuser. And I do need to make another one, but I'll do that in a second. I'll just explain this. So the atomic alloy need the refined obsidian dust. For that, we first need to make obsidian dust, which we just put, again, in the enri enrichment chamber. So... Again, I'll have to empty it all again, won't I? And if we just get that 
obsidian. We'll do a little bit of it because we're going to need a lot of this eventually. Again, put all this back in here. I think I need another enrichment chamber, don't I? So we'll take that. And then we'll put that into the one that's got the diamond in. We should get refined obsidian dust. And there we go, just like that. So now we need another metal edge confuser. So I know we haven't got any more furnaces. So let's just craft up a couple of those. So I need the osmium and the iron. That's not a problem. So if we just put that in there, that is our last metal edge confuser. So we'll put this one down here. I am going to move these chests eventually. But for now, this will do. So I'll put that on. So just get some power to this one. And then we need to put the front. Let's pull that through an enrichment chamber first. Oh, this is so annoying. Right. Let's do this properly. Right. Refined obsidian dust. Into the enrichment chamber. I'm going to leave all these holes on me now. Even though I don't think I need this anymore. But just to be safe. And then we'll get the enriched obsidian. Put that into there. And then we've put the reinforced alloy in. We should get the... What's it called? The atomic alloy. And there we go. That is the first part or the first difficult part of this tool done. So let's have a look at what else we need. Atomic disassembler. Right, we've got the atomic alloy now. We've got these, and we can craft this. So let's let's do that now. So I think we need three of those. Uh, I've got the, yeah, I've got all that. So let's do that. Let's craft that out real quick. There we go, and that mushroom is pushing me for some reason. Go away. Right, so that's that bit done. So all we need now is the refined obsidian ingot. Now to do that, we need to craft another machine. We need an osmium compressor. So if just look at this. This is a little bit more advanced. So we do need a steel casing and we need the advanced control circuit. So for that, it is just the basic control circuit and the infused alloy. So those are really easy. I've got, do I need, do I need two of those? Yeah, I need two. So we've got two of those and I need four of those. So let's do that. Um, yeah, craft two of those. Um, let's just bring it up in here so we're not doing all that drilling down. Osmium compressor. So I need two into buckets and three more of these. Oh, on the steel, yeah. Okay, so do, did we have any more steel? No, we didn't because we did the exact number we need for that pig, didn't we? So we just need to do some of that now. So we've got carbon in here. Uh, yeah, let's do eight. We only need four for this, but we'll, we'll do eight. Okay, so I've got our eight orange iron. So same again, put that back into there to get our steel dust. And while we're waiting for that, we'll put another obsidian dust into our diamond infuser because we need another one of the refined obsidian to make the refined obsidian ingot. So for the steel casing, we've got our steel cooking up there. We need one piece of osmium and four glass, I think. So we just need to wait for four of these. Get those cooked up and then we should have everything we need. Okay. Let's cook those. And the other thing was two buckets, wasn't it? So while we're waiting, let's just craft those. And come on. I need to get these machines upgraded as well. And there we go. Right. Osmium compressor. I think, can we do this now? All right, steel casing. Got that. And osmium compressor. There we go. All right, so I'll put another cable down. Put that there. That's getting power. And then we need to put osmium into here. And this is like an infuser, really. So if we takes osmium, turns it into liquid osmium, and it infuses it into whatever you put into there. So what we need is our refined obsidian dust. And we'll put that into there, and we should get a refined obsidian ingot. Oh, I might need some more osmium in that. No, that one did it. Right, there we go. So now we should have everything we need to make this atomic disassembler. And there we go. Simple as that. It's a bit of a process, but we got there in the end. So this thing 
is amazing. It is like a Paxel, but it's way better than that because instead of using durability, like most tools do, that it doesn't wear down, it uses power. So we can just put that into here. Now oh, this is going to take forever. Yeah, that's, that's going to take quite a while. But I think that's one of the other things we need to do. We need to get some more power generation going because it's, it's managing for these machines, but once we start getting to the high power usage, like for the, like for the tools, we're going to need way better power than this, mate. We can we can use these for quite a while if we, as long as we have a few of them. Eventually, we'll get into the the really crazy power generation that mechanism can do. But for now, these wind generators are great, and then we'll probably do the gas generator next. And then after that, it's like the the nuclear power stuff, which is is mad. And I haven't actually done all that stuff before, so I'm quite excited about getting getting that done. Right, we'll just wait for this. And there we go. That is finally at full power. So now we can take this out. And now that the power is going back up to here, we can finally put these in and leave them alone because we don't need to do anything else in there. So I've got some more in here as well. Yeah, so let's just stick all of that in there. And I'll empty the rest of this out in a second, but let's just have a look at the atomic disassembler. So this is like a Paxel, but it uses power instead. And there are, I think there's five different modes. So if you hold down shift, if you look at the bottom left of the screen, you can't really see it very well. Uh, it says mode normal efficiency 20. So this can, can be used in place of an axe, a pickaxe or a shovel. So we can just mine like crazy like this. But if we hold down shift and use the mouse wheel, we can go to slow. So that's like if you want to do, you don't want to go too fast. If you just don't want to take one or two blocks out, that's the mode to use. Normal is the one that you use probably the most. Off, I don't know what that is. Uh, and then I think I'm going the wrong way. So I've got normal, slow, and then fast. This is like the really high efficiency pickaxes and shovels. And then obviously these, it uses more power if you have it on the fast mode. So you don't always want to use that, but normally I, I do like to. And then we've got vein mining, which is great. So if you click a block, it will mine everything of the same type, which it didn't. All right, maybe don't wait for that. Right, I changed that to extended vein mining and it worked. I don't know why it didn't work on the normal vein because I have used this before on that one and it worked, but okay, whatever. So let's go down to the mine and see if we can get anything quickly. So we should probably put this on too fast for now. And then we'll just go crazy down one of these. So if we go two apart, see, look at that, that is so fast. Now, then when we get to a vein like this, we can change it into vein. It should, yeah, it does work on the ores. So maybe it's just extended vein mining means non ores. I don't know. I'll talk that up. But if, if we leave it on vein, it'll just mine all of that vein, which is brilliant. Now, if you use it on stone, I think you just, let's do extended vein mining. Yeah, that's it. So this will mine out really big areas for us. Now this will probably use a lot of power and it's going to go down really fast doing it like this. So we're on 352 and I went to 349. So yeah, it's, it's going down quite fast doing it like that, but it's fun. So why not? So yeah, I, I like to keep it on normal or fast, sorry. And then when I get to a vein, just change it to vein and mine it out. So yeah, that is the Atomic Disassembler. It's a great tool, definitely worth all that effort. And it's a bit gold as well, brilliant. And there we go. That's what it looks like in F5 mode. Isn't this tool brilliant? So, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to have to leave the episode there. I'm going to try and keep these modded episodes fairly short, sticking to one, maybe two projects, depending on the size per episode. So, if you've enjoyed it, please do leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.